All right, so in this problem, we're given the rate at which hydrogen is being used up, and we have to relate that to the rate at which ammonia is being made. So we can probably start off by writing down the rate expression, and so we could measure the rate by measuring any one of these three terms here. We can say since the rate is equal to this or this or this, then all three of these must be equal to each other. And in this problem here, we're told the rate at which hydrogen is being used up. And so what we're really saying here is that the change in concentration of hydrogen with time, so the used up is a clue here that that's a negative quantity here. So it's negative 0.074, and then the units are molarity per second. So we have to basically convert that to the rate at which ammonia is being formed. And so we can say, well, what's this? What's the change in concentration of ammonia with time? And we can figure out how this is related to this. And so we can take this half, and we can multiply both sides by 2. And that will leave us delta NH3 delta T by itself. So that's minus a third times by 2 times by delta H2 delta T. And we already have this, and so we can just multiply everything together. And so at this point here, we've got basically minus 2 thirds times by minus 0.074. And if we do the math, that comes out to be positive 0.049 molarity per second. So we can do the other part of the problem the same way. So the other part of the problem asks, what rate is the nitrogen reacting? So we need to relate the nitrogen to anything here, really, but we might as well just go ahead and relate it to the hydrogen. And so we need to rewrite the expression. And so we can see here that the rate is equal to minus the change in nitrogen with time, and that's equal to minus one-third the hydrogen and so we can go ahead and we can cross multiply both sides by 3 and equalize those two terms. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, so minus delta N2 delta T is equal to minus one third delta H2 dT. And so we can go ahead then and just multiply both sides by minus 1. That changes that to a plus and that to a plus. And then we already have the number from above. So it's plus one third times by 0 0.074 negative molarity per second. And that gives us a rate of minus 0 0.025 molarity per second. So that tells us that nitrogen is being used up at this rate here. So why do we talk about used up? Why don't we like negatives? Well, humans seem to have this real problem with negative numbers, and so wherever possible we will change the language to a form like used up or consumed or reacted as a way to avoid given the negative result. And so in this case here, the rate at which nitrogen is being used up is positive 0.025 molar per second.